Whilst I was turning these tubes um, to the right side um, to make this kind of thing, I realized Welcome back to the channel. It's me Eva helping you create the sustainable wardrobe you have always wanted. Today we are continuing on our design development adventure for uh, this new sustainable collection that I'm creating uh, called Reckless inspired by uh, sea wrecks and shipwrecks. Last time we looked at the trends for 2021 if you haven't seen it yet I'll put in the description below this time I'm going to take all the inspiration that I have found so far on Pinterest and again the board is for you to have a look I'll put it in the description below I've got loads of images of sea regs and trendy kind of shapes and I'm taking some of the pictures and making sampling today so I hope uh, you enjoy uh, what I share with you. Before we start, be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell button at the bottom of this video so you know when I upload that next. And um, yeah, let's crack on. The first thing uh, that I did is to go to Pinterest and I uh, chose a few photos to work with, photos of sea rex And I was looking for things like uh, shape and texture and um, just something a little bit more interesting. And I started with an image of a, a ship or a boat um, which uh, has got an interesting structure. In fact, it's just the structure that's left from it rather than the exterior. And I started playing around with the um, interesting geometric shapes that the structure has created uh, by inserting pleats uh, at an angle and darts and playing around with that. Um, I have tried to do some more 3D and more flat samples and taking the trend of half and half garments from this year I also uh, decided to play around with the idea of having ha potentially half a garment uh, that's one kind of material and texture and the other half another and I've done it through sampling. The next thing that I did is I found a picture of an interesting um, sea wreck which has barnacles on it and I really like barnacles uh, when I watch um, underwater kind of shows uh, I think they're just really beautiful and interesting in terms of texture as well and what I did is I uh, made tubes using fabric scraps that I had and uh, with intention to just turn them over but I realized that turning them just halfway creates an, uh, a nice kind of neat uh, finish on the top and um, otherwise it just uh, looks quite effective in a cluster. Whilst I was turning these tubes um, to the right side um, to make this kind of thing I realized that just turning them halfway works really well. Okay so I think it just looks really, really cool it looks pretty much the way it should having them turn just um, halfway because it gives this um, like quite neat bit on top and I could then uh, line them up together somewhere and pin them on the mannequin I think it work really nicely but um, we'll see we'll see I realized later that uh, a good way of putting these together maybe to trap them in the seam and maybe have seams one next to one another I haven't actually done that second thing just yet uh, because a cluster might have to be done by hand and I'm more of a fan of machining because it's a stronger thing uh, to do but we'll see uh, we'll play around later as well with this I also thought what if we take a barnacle kind of uh, tube like the ones I've created as a mini version and made them uh, made a, a whole sleeve out of it that's when I remembered that I have my mini mannequin Samantha and Samantha said help me I uh, have scale if you haven't seen a video of me unboxing Samantha um, that special moment I'll put in the description below as well by the way I also thought that uh, maybe texturally I could trap uh, these little uh, bits to um, 
different kinds of things like cuffs or cuff openings or other little details on a garment if I'm working with already garments uh, when we start making we'll see though I haven't I don't even know what I'm going to be making this stuff out of uh, we are playing as we go that's the point of this so uh, bear with me for the next few episodes um, another thing that I did is I quite like there was a picture of a ship that was actually in a, a rock I think it's somewhere in Russia and I thought that's a really interesting image and very impressive as well. And uh, what I did is I traced the shape of the ship itself without the bottom bit actually to start with. Added a bit of seam allowance and because uh, Samantha is half scale, I could use these tiny pieces which I can later if I decide to use the most patterns I can scale to full size and started playing around with pictures uh, which I think um, there are quite a few ideas there. And then what I did is I traced the ship again, but like the full thing uh, because that created a different shape and started to mix and match. And the next thing I did is I thought I'd scale these patterns as well a little bit more, still for Samantha, but still bigger than what the actual ship was. It was, it was a rough estimate just to play around really. When I started playing uh, with uh, bigger patterns, uh, I thought maybe I'm going to play with the idea of collars and I made a little uh, kind of uh, sample uh, using uh, this pattern in particular uh, which is essentially this that's it and um, it, the pattern itself looks like this in a fabric so I pinned on the mannequin and uh, it was quite interesting I think what I came up with in terms of the variations of collars so collars uh, something I'll probably uh, play with quite a lot uh, in the next uh, few weeks uh, I hope uh, great things come out of this another thing that I did was an interesting kind of sea rig in the desert which I thought was quite cool and I, I really really liked uh, the writing on it actually and it also reminded me of the that Russian ship that I traced. I thought I'm gonna uh, maybe not necessarily trace it but kind of do a shape that's similar to it by eye and uh, where it's got at the bottom there is this kind of diagonal line I'm gonna just maybe do some sort of origami-esque pattern but in the end what I did is I did variations of this where one was more geometric I also did again the whole half and half bit and on one of them I did a bit of a patchwork that does uh, have different kinds of materials I quite like the idea of potentially uh, I should have some uh, materials that have got writing on them so maybe incorporating that and um, I've just about started playing with the idea of using just a one half of this image so one half of the pattern to create a symmetrical potential design but I haven't yet got around to doing this so what I think I'm going to do is to do another one of these episodes because I still have a lot of images to work with and um, you know I just I, I just loved it. I loved it in a bit and I think there are lots of ideas yet to be explored. So next week we're going to continue on with this and we'll start looking at uh, perhaps starting to draw actual designs to sift through. I meant to say uh, the waste that I have created during sampling for uh, this particular session uh, was a little handful of paper off cuts. Uh, which I'm going to recycle and also have uh, a little bit of uh, fabric off cuts and threads uh, which I'm going to try to make maybe a little sample with um, at the end when I have done all my sampling and I know how much uh, waste I've created but I'm gonna try it to keep it um, to a minimum and I'll let you know uh, how this goes in the next session so if you are interested in finding out more just subscribe and uh, I hope to see you then until next time stay creative and see you soon